We're in this all together and that we have to overcome uh, historic divisions or rich and poor divisions. Uh, we are living on this planet together. Uh, we each are emitting. We all have to stop. There is no right to pollute. Uh, there is an obligation to stop polluting. Um, those that have more capacity have to do more but also developing countries have to bring their share to the table. That's the sort of approach that we need for Copenhagen. What are your hopes for a single agreement that all countries would sign up to? I think we are gradually coming there. I think we, we have understood that uh, the Kyoto Protocol has a lot of merits because it has brought climate change to the international agenda. But we also are beginning to see that uh, <clears throat> in terms of uh, reducing emissions, the Kyoto Protocol has been not an overwhelming success. Uh, those countries that have taken commitment very largely have not honored them. The European Union is the only participant that will actually meet its uh, Kyoto Protocol targets. And then we have the large absence. We have the United States that never ratified. We have uh, uh, the non-Annex 1 countries, the biggest emitter, China, but also India, Brazil, who are not there with reductions. We need to bring everyone into a new format, and that has to be a single new legal framework. To the extent that we are showing the world that this is a real problem, that uh, the solution uh, will be there for many years to come, uh, that we need joint efforts in investing into the transformation of our societies. I think a lot of companies will find the, uh, the courage, uh, will find the motivation to go for those new markets. Um, and I, I often say that uh, once people understand that we will be 9 billion people on this planet, uh, the vast majority of which will live in poor parts of this world, we have a tsunami of demand coming up for us because all these people want our standard of living. This planet can not support this if we don't dramatically change the forms in which we produce and consume. That means energy and less CO2, but it means more broadly, far more resource conscious uh, production and consumption for all of us.